Sorry, I'm a little shorter than these guys. And luckily, I'm very, very comfortable with the mic now that I've played a lot of rock band. Do you have a lot of people out there playing rock band? No, no, there was a lot of people in San Francisco. <laughs> and I told them you were the more fun group. That didn't really go over too well. The, uh, I'd like to welcome everyone here to our annual meeting. It is a pleasure to be here. We always love the Los Angeles meeting and the beautiful weather down here. And uh, I really hope to see all of you here again next year. We are really trying to increase our attendance of these meetings. And if there's anything we can do to facilitate that, if you could send me an email and let me know, that would be wonderful. The uh, Surplus Line Association was formed with the purpose of overseeing the regulation of the surplus lines market in California. Over the last 70 years, as the surplus lines market has evolved, our membership has grown from 400 members in 1998 to 4,000 members this year. The responsibilities for the SLA have grown as well. The SLA has received many new duties that have been delegated by the insurance commissioner and we are proud of the services that we have provided to the Department of Insurance and to the brokers. The SLA is also proud of the integrity in which our staff conducts the business to keep California surplus lines brokers up to speed on regulation and how to do filings. The duties the SLA is charged with today include assisting the Department of Insurance in evaluating the financial solvency of non-admitted carriers in California. We also collect extensive data on policies that are placed, ensuring that the placements are made in compliance with California surplus lines laws and regulations. We also provide continuing education or CE credits to the members of our association, and we also are creating an electronic system to help ease the filing process. The Broker Extranet and the SLA website are two main resources that we have invested in heavily that to add value to the members of our association. In addition, the integrity of the organization is sound. The stamping fee, our expenses, and our operational goals are all reviewed by the Department of Insurance as well as the Executive Committee and Stamping Committees. During times such as these, it could be difficult for the association to explain the higher stamping fee. However, as our chairman, Warren Stanley, explained, the expenses have stayed relatively flat for the last four years, and the stamping fee increase was made in anticipation of a market decline. The decision was made with much research and debate, and I assure you that we did not take it lightly. We will continue to strive for transparency and fiscal responsibility and integrity in the eyes of our members. Now we're going to get into the really interesting stuff, the statistics. The filed premium, that is a typo, by the way. It's not 5.8 million, it's 5.8 billion. I left off the last three. The, uh, it's, we filed just over 5.8 billion. The item count was 466,397. The member totals, as you know, many, um, many of you know that the licensing law did change in uh, this year, and it caused a lot of you to get your individual license. Is everyone in here individually licensed now? So we currently have 3,952 members. We also have uh, top resident brokers, non-resident brokers. The top non-resident brokers are as follows. Oops, I can't do three things at one time. Texas has 191 non-resident brokers. Illinois has 138 non-resident brokers. New York has 122. Georgia has 85, and New Jersey has 75. They are on your tails. You guys have to step up. They're, uh, they've increased just slightly, so there's no worries because it's only 8% of the total fee, uh, premium filed was with non-resident brokers. That is only an increase of 7% over last year. The top uh, insuring companies in California were Lexington Insurance Company, Lloyd's Underwriters, American International Specialty Lines, 
Steadfast Insurance, Scottsdale, Landmark, Admiral, Illinois Union, Empire, and Evingston. We currently have 196 companies that are on the Leslie that are available for you to place business with. Of those, the 196, 70 of them are Lloyd's syndicates. This is the breakdown of the foreign, the Lloyd's, and the alien insurers. The top coverages that were filed were general liability, errors and omissions, commercial DIC, all risk, and special multi peril packages. The largest filing brokers were Aon Risk Services of Southern California, Western Risk Specialists, Inc., Marsh USA, Sweat & Crawford, Amwins Insurance Brokerage of California, Aon Risk Insurance Services West, Bliss & Glennon, Lockton Companies, Risk Placement Services, and Anthony Joseph Hart. Mr. Hart, where are you? Thank you for once again being here. Are there any other of the top 10 here? Thank you, too. As a state tax reminder, they're due on March 1st. The forms are available on our website as well as the department's website. There's many of you who had your license, you got your new individual license. You need to remember that even if no business was placed under your individual license, you have to file a tax return. They have a special new one-page form for you that you fill out and it's for zero premium. So please remember to do that. They will send you a letter if, they, if you don't send it in. The Western States Surplus Lines meeting is going to be July 19th through 21st in Sun Valley, Idaho. And in closing, I would really like to thank the managers of the Surplus Line Association as well as the staff. If I could have um, the managers stand up, please. These are extremely hardworking folks who I'm sure many of you have had contact with. with. We, uh, we really appreciate. We have Pat McCauley. She's with the data processing. She's manager of data processing. Vienna Murray, education manager. She's been standing back by the door. Linda Chang, the financial manager. And Brent Hunter, he is our new IT manager. I'd also like to... Oh. <laughs> they do an excellent job. I'd also like to thank the executive and stamping committees for their dedication and support during this last year. They have been a huge help to us to helping us accomplish our goals. And it's been my pleasure to serve the members of this association. This is my sixth year. And um, I'm really enjoying it, and I, I really love what I do. This is a, a really great company. So if any of you would like copies of these statistics, because they were so exciting, you need to read them over and over again, uh, we are going to have it uh, placed on our website, so you'll be able to download them. Or you can send me an email, and I can send you uh, a copy of the slideshow. Thank you very much. <laughs>